Good morning. We're going to be looking at two really interesting questions this morning. The first one is, how much do you value Jesus? And the second one is, do you know how much Jesus values you? We're reading this morning from John chapter 12, and it says this, Six days before the Passover, Jesus therefore came to Bethany where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. So they gave a dinner for him there. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those reclining with him at table. Mary therefore took a pound of expensive ointment made from pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of perfume. So it really striked me when I was reading this that there are four characters in this story that are placing some sort of value on Jesus. The first one is Lazarus. He is giving Jesus worship. He's giving, he's reclining with him at table. He's giving him his time. He's listening to Jesus. He's spending time with him and worshipping in that way. Then you've got Martha who's running around maybe doing the dishes or, or serving the, the food or whatever. That, that's her serving and giving her worship. She clearly values Jesus also. And then we've got Mary who takes this bottle of expensive fragrance. Now we're told that this bottle it's estimated to have um to have been worth around the same as a year's wages. Can you believe can you imagine just for a minute a bottle of perfume or cologne um for you gentlemen that would be worth a year of our wages the value of that bottle of perfume. Mary takes this really valuable bottle and she anoints Jesus. She's worshipping him. It's a lavish display of affection, but it's also her outwardly saying, Jesus, this is how much I value you. She washes his feet with her hair. Can you imagine your feet? Especially in those days, they would have worn sandals, all the dirt would have got into their their shoes and their feet. It would be dirty and smelly. And then your hair, the most beautiful part of your head. Imagine washing somebody's feet with your hair. Um, She's saying, Jesus, my hair isn't even good enough to wash the most dirtiest part of you. She's showing Jesus value. She's showing him her worship. But also there's a fourth character in this story, if you read on, and that's Judas. And as we know, in a few short chapters, we will read that Judas puts a value on Jesus as well. And sadly, he is willing to sell Jesus for a mere 30 pieces of silver. And he doesn't understand why Mary is pouring out this bottle, this expensive um, present to Jesus, her worship, her value of Jesus. He doesn't understand it. So that's the first um, challenge for us this morning. Are we serving Jesus like Martha? Are we giving him our time like Lazarus? And are we pouring out our worship and valuing Jesus in the way that we should be? The second question I asked at the beginning was, do we know how much Jesus values us? Well, at the beginning of the story, you know, it says six days before the Passover, Jesus therefore came to Bethany. If you read the chapter previously, Jesus has already been to Bethany. He'd been there, he'd raised Lazarus from the dead and he'd gone on with his travels. But then he hears that there's a warrant out for his arrest. And he knows that if he goes back to Bethany, there's every chance that he will be arrested and therefore he will eventually be killed. He knew what he was coming here to do. So Jesus literally turns around and walks back to Bethany. He literally walks to his death. Why does he do that? It's because he values us. It's because he knows the only way that he's going to get to be with us forever, his children, is if we are made clean, if we are holy. And the only way that'll happen is if he dies in our place for our sin. How amazing is that? Jesus valued us so much that he was willing to die for us. So the challenge for us today is, are we going to value him? Do we have the same, the same love as Mary and Lazarus and Martha had for Jesus? They show us amazing examples and let's try today, let's try and and lift Jesus up and pour out our worship to him.